after studying this module, you shall be able to learn that how metal complexes can be effectively utilized in transport and storage of oxygen. Different synthetic model complexes of iron designed to mimic the natural occurring hemoglobin and myoglobin proteins. Various synthetic complexes of cobalt reported in literature. Copper complexes which are developed to mimic some of the crucial oxygen transport properties of hemocyanin. Although the most common mode of reaction by which molecular oxygen binds with transition metal complexes is oxidation, yet there are several instances wherein dioxygen can function as neutral ligand. Certain metal complexes provide the delicate balance needed to form adducts with dioxygen without the metal or the ligands being irreversibly oxidized. Such type of metal complexes which can be effectively utilized in transport and storage of oxygen are often known as synthetic oxygen carriers. The equation for adduct formation in which these oxygen carriers take up and release dioxygen reversibly is written as carrier plus oxygen molecule gives carrier oxygen. Molecular oxygen can be reduced by one electron process without oxygen-oxygen bond being broken. Each of these species can act as ligand toward transition metals. To understand all about synthetic oxygen carriers, one should consider the following electronic structure of oxygen molecule. Figure electronic structure of oxygen molecule. Synthetic model complexes of iron. Coordination researchers and chemists for many years were unable to develop synthetic iron containing oxygen carriers to mimic the natural occurring hemoglobin and myoglobin proteins since in all the cases iron 2 complexes were irreversibly oxidized by oxygen to produce mu oxo complexes. This has been elucidated in the following equation Fe2Ln plus half O2 gives ln minus 1 Fe3 O Fe3 L plus 2 N minus 1 L. In the 1970s, investigators designed new synthetic approaches to avoid the formation of mu oxo iron complexes in order to successfully fabricate synthetic iron oxygen carriers and for this purpose they have used following approaches. The first one is a steric. That means the introduction of the bulky groups on the ligands in such a fashion which sterically inhibit the formation of FeOFe dimer. The second one is low temperature. That means the use of low temperature slows down the rate of reactions leading to dimerization. The third one is surface attachment. That means attachment of the iron complex on the rigid surface prevents dimerization process. However, amongst the above method to synthesize modified porphyrins, steric hindrance has produced much more elegant work. Initial attempt was made to test this concept to synthesize tail based complexes in which an imidazole is covalently attached to iron 2 porphyrins. This has been represented and figured. The studies on such tail based complexes revealed that it leads to the formation of 1 is to 1 adducts only at low temperatures. On the other hand, the strapped complexes 2 and 3 with a hydrocarbon chain linked over the face of porphyrin do not undergo reversible binding with oxygen because of lack of rigidity of the chain which can be pushed out of the way. Further, the use of steric constraint has been very nicely demonstrated by Coleman and Baldwin. Coleman at all reported the picket fence for firing 4 and 5 that not only favor 5 coordination but also inhibit above said bimolecular interaction. In this model, on one side of the porphyrin ring, there should be great steric hindrance with suitable ligand such as N alkyl imidazole, while the other side should be left unencumbered to provide hydrophobic site for oxygen. Further, 
Baldwin and co-workers demonstrated that capped porphyrin 6 also provides satisfactory steric protection and hence could react reversibly with oxygen and pyridine. Figured different types of iron porphyrin complex to avoid the formation of oxo complex so that reversible binding is possible. One tail base, second strapped oblique tail base, third strapped, fourth picket fence, fifth picket fence oblique tail base, sixth capped porphyrins. Synthetic model complexes of cobalt. Amongst the several model synthetic dioxygen carriers, cobalt complexes have been the first and the most extensively investigated ones owing to their structural similarity to those found in biological systems, that is, natural oxygen carrying metalloenzymes. Literature reports clearly reveal that much of the research work on these model complexes have been done using aprotic solvents due to two reasons. The first one is it was believed that such type of solvents possess the ability to create an environment similar to that provided by the hydrophobic pocket of the natural oxygen carriers. And the second one is that protonic solvents often lead to the irreversible dioxygen oxidation of the metal complex. However, the assumption that synthetic dioxygen carrier could be synthesized in only aprotic solvents was clearly ruled out in 1852 when Fremy observed that aqueous solutions of inorganic solids such as ammonia cobalt salts undergo reversible absorption of oxygen on exposure to atmospheric oxygen resulting in formation of brown salts which he called oxocobaltiates. This has been shown in scheme 1, 2 CO NH362 plus plus O2 gives NH35 CO O O CO NH35 4 plus plus 2 NH3. Later in 1998, these were characterized by Werner and Milius as ionic and water soluble mu peroxo low spin cobalt 3 complexes as depicted in figure structure of mu peroxo cobalt 3 complex. It was found that these complexes reacted with oxidizing agent such as Ceric ion to generate the corresponding mu superoxo cobalt 3 complex described NH35 CO OO NH35 4 plus in presence of CE4 gives NH35 CO OO NH35 5 plus. Scheme 2 Oxidation of mu peroxo cobalt 3 complex in presence of ceric ions. Similar binuclear cobalt peroxides have been synthesized using other ligand systems such as cyanide ions, chelating polyamines, peptide amides containing dissociable amide hydrogen, amino acid histidine and certain tetradentate shift bases. While cobalt compounds containing bound dioxygen were known since long, the first report of a synthetic reversible cobalt oxygen carrier came from the work of Sumaki in 1938. He showed that the darkening of red brown crystals of the cobalt 2 shift based complex that is cobalt saline occurred in presence of atmospheric oxygen due to the reversible absorption of molecular oxygen. Cobalt saline complex exists in different crystalline forms depending on the type of solvent used for its preparation. Each of these crystalline forms have varying oxygen binding capacity in the solid state which is attributed to the presence of voids in their crystal lattice that allows the passage of molecular oxygen. This suggestion has been further supported by X-ray crystallography. The structure determination using this technique shows that the so-called inactive form contains dimeric unit that is cobalt saline twice 
whereas the active forms of cobalt selene are presumed to contain dimeric units with a more open lattice packing relative to the inactive form. This has been represented in figure structure of active and inactive cobalt selene in the solid state. The oxygenated product may be a 1 is to 1 or 2 is to 1 complex. It is believed that the oxygen adds as sixth ligand to a 5 coordinate complex or replaces one of the coordinating solvent molecule so that the final structure is either 6 coordinate 1 is to 1 complex or a 6 coordinate 2 is to 1 complex. Figure 2 possible structures for the oxygen adduct of cobalt saline in which sol represents a coordinating solvent molecule. Synthetic model complexes of copper. During the past few decades, the dicopper sites of hemocyanin, which play a crucial role in biological reactions of oxygen, have drawn the attention of several inorganic chemists worldwide as they exhibit interesting spectroscopic and magnetic properties. Therefore, several attempts have been made to develop suitable copper complexes that would mimic some of the properties of hemocyanin. A major breakthrough in synthetic modeling chemistry came in the year 1989 when Kitajami and co-workers synthesized and characterized a di-copper 2 peroxo complex using sterically encumbering tris pyrazolyl borate ligand. They found that oxygen binding occurs between two copper centers in a side-on mode. Besides, studies revealed that this compound could be generated at reduced temperature in solution by oxygen reaction with one or via an acid-base reaction of hydrogen peroxide with dicopper 2 species 2 figures synthesis of di-copper 2 peroxo complex using sterically encumbering tris pyrazolyl borate ligand. Recently, Simons and Wilsons have reported a synthetic copper 1 complex containing two imidazole donors that are capable of binding dioxygen reversibly in both solid state as well as in solution. Firstly, they synthesized the pentadentate ligand that is 2,6-diacetyl 1,2-imidazole 4 il ethyl imino ethyl pyridine abbreviated as DIPE via condensation of 2,6-diacetyl pyridine with 2 moles of histamine. Subsequently, Cu1-MeCN4 ClO4 was added under nitrogen atmosphere to generate the dark red colored Cu1 dipe ClO4 complex in which copper is presumed to be 5 coordinated. This has been shown in fig. It was found that synthesized copper 1 complex absorbed 1 mole of oxygen per 2 mole of copper and this reaction could be readily reversed by gentle heating and degassing with nitrogen. Figure synthesis of copper complex of 2,6-diacetyl-1,2-imidazole-4-il-ethyl-imino-ethylpyridine ligand. Summary, synthetic oxygen carriers are those metal complexes that can be effectively utilized in transport and storage of oxygen since they provide the delicate balance required to form adducts with dioxygen. Investigators design new synthetic approaches to avoid the formation of new oxo-iron complexes in order to successfully fabricate different types of iron porphyrin complexes such as 1. Tail base, 2nd strapped oblique tail based, 3rd strapped, 4th picket fence, 5th picket fence oblique tail base and 6th capped porphyrins in order to avoid the formation of oxo complexes. A number of synthetic cobalt complexes have been designed using efficient ligand systems such as cyanide ions, chelating polyamines, 
peptide amides containing dissociable amide hydrogens, amino acid histidine and certain tetradentate shift bases for the uptake and transport of oxygen. Dicopper sites of hemocyanin have drawn the attention of several inorganic chemists worldwide and therefore suitable copper complexes have been designed in order to mimic the properties of hemocyanin.